Welcome to another uh, video in the video series on graduate school experiences with my graduate students, Katie, Matthew, and Daniele. Uh, in this uh, video, we will discuss uh, on uh, their self-reflections and uh, what they have learned in their first year graduate school experiences. Just uh, for those of you uh, who has not watched the introduction uh, video that we have first, um, uh, Matthew and Daniele are first year master's level students and Katie is a first year uh, doctoral uh, student. So Matthew, how about we start with you this time? All right. Um, so self-reflection, one of the biggest ones so far, and this has been going on through my uh, undergraduate too, is realizing that I'm smarter than I tend to think I am uh, when it comes to uh, certain just information. Because I'll, I'll talk about thermodynamics to my fiance so much, and they've taken the same exact class as I have. And it's so funny because I'll go through it. I'll just be like, yeah this doesn't make sense, you know, in this way. And then they'll be looking at me like, I don't know what words you are saying right now. <laughs> um, and just, it also tells me how smart I am with how fast I've picked up Python coding, um, which again, we had to learn that uh, the, uh, just from, from starting off with this research assistantship, that was like the first thing we started learning was machine learning in Python. And well, at least for me, I have never touched coding in general. Uh, so I was just like, oh, okay. Um, and I feel extremely confident in machine learning now after a year. And that kind of just tells me how intelligent I am with picking up things and such. So that that's something that I've been self-reflecting a lot is that I'm smarter than I think I am. And uh, to like have that that positive thought process in that sense. Yeah. Excellent. I like this attitude. So basically, uh, you know, we should not underestimate our skills and yes. we should be confident about our intelligence to be able to solve the problems, right? Mm -hmm. uh, excellent. Excellent. Um, so next, uh, Daniele, would you like to go next? Yeah. Um, I will start saying that I feel graduate school is another, like, it's a different kind of like commitment uh because like other projects like your work is for other projects so other project depends on you so you have to learn how to manage time you have to know that uh if you <clears throat> if you need to do something you have to do it you need to do it and i have learned a lot of stuff um first of all as also matthew mentioned uh, you have to study by yourself you have to figure out a lot of stuff by yourself uh and i like i feel it helped it helped me a lot to in like growing and yeah that's uh that's uh, that's the a really nice aspect of the of the graduate school and as i said it can be also stressful but uh it helped you a lot to to grow up and yeah, improve your skills also, yeah. Okay, excellent. So uh, do you think that, Daniela, we can have a key takeaway saying that, uh, you know, uh, you have become an independent researcher? Definitely, definitely. At the, at the really first beginning, I didn't know anything about research. I didn't know how to start. I didn't know, uh, for example, starting from, I don't know, paper review, paper articles, I didn't know even how to read a scientific article. And yeah, now it's totally different. Uh, it's like all skills that I that I I just acquired and it's 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 amazing. It's really amazing. You you yeah, you get some skills and you don't even like think about it. So yeah. All right, all right. Thank you, Daniela. Um Katie, how about we go with you now? Yeah, so I'm just going to do a comparison between my first year as a master's student and my first year as a doctoral student because they were very different experiences. Um, when I was a first year master's student, it was my first time in grad school. And also I my master's was in water resource management, which was a master's of science. So we were a subset 
of the geology department. And um, I was not prepared to deal with the amount of rejection from professors, like not wanting to work with you. So when you're a first year master's student, you get all of these lists of things you have to do. You have to get a master, you have to get a um, a thesis advisor and you have to form a committee. And I would try to go to all of these professors and basically no one wanted to work with me. And it wasn't me. It was just they had demands of other students they were working with. And so no one really had time because the geology professors prioritize geology students. So I had to like go outside of the box completely and totally and ended up with an economics advisor who was okay taking a a water resource student, you know, and it ended up being like the best decision of my life. But when you're sort of navigating those waters and you're not even sure if you belong anyways, and then you come in and nobody wants to work with you, it's very um, it just really affects your self-esteem as a, as, cause you feel like you're like, okay, well, do I really belong here because nobody wants to work with me? And so versus my first year as a doctoral student already having a professor already having like being hired on to do specific work for a specific project, like already having that support system because, you know, and as much as we do work for them, I really do feel like your your professors that you work with are your support system. They help you guide, they help guide your growth. <laughs> so already having that in place was like night and day because you already feel like you're already like plugged in, if that makes sense. And you're not like in a totally strange environment trying to find <laughs> somebody to help you. So Um, I just want to say that if those are your experiences, like it does get better, you will get a thesis advisor, you will get a dissertation advisor, like you will form your committees, all of those things will happen, just, you know, be patient. And, you know, I think coming in my first year as a doctoral student, I realized like, oh, it's, it wasn't me that, that is, it was just the way that the system was set up. I feel supported versus not feeling supported if that makes sense so because I internalized a lot of that and I thought it was me like uh you know which I think is pretty normal so it's not you <laughs> there's just a lot of um things outside your control so just say yeah just be patient and it will feel really good once you are you know on the right track excellent point thank you thank you Katie uh guys all uh three of you provided excellent uh reflections and uh learnings about your experiences uh thank you for sharing those uh this was uh excellent i hope uh, our viewers will benefit uh, uh, f- uh from all these experiences uh any last remarks or comments that you would like to provide before we end the video all right Excellent. Uh, Thank you very much, guys. So uh, for our viewers, if you have any questions or uh, topics that you would like us uh, to cover in an upcoming video, uh, please uh, leave a comment in the comment box below. And we will see you in the next uh, video. Thank you.